Neonatal abstinence syndrome is a constellation of symptoms that result from the dependence on opioids or um, opiates to, a, to an infant. It results from maternal usage of those drugs. It is important to know that it is not infant addiction. Addiction is both a physical dependence on a subject as well as a psychologic constellation of um, issues that cause this craving and uh, dependence on, on medicines. They are vastly different. Neonatal abstinence syndrome, referred to as NAS, is an opiate dependence on a newborn. Symptoms associated with neonatal abstinence syndrome can be varied. Um, they can be very minimal, as in sneezing, a runny nose, maybe some light tremors on a baby, to the most horrific fulminant withdrawal, which is a newborn screaming who is inconsolable, who um, it can't nurse um, from a bottle or even breast, who can no longer perform the task that a newborn infant should perform, which are fairly minimal, but impossible when a baby is fully engaged in a opiate withdrawal. Neonatal abstinence syndrome is diagnosed postnatally, meaning after the baby is born. Um, we can know which babies are at risk for this, and that is one of our most important endeavors, to identify mothers who have substance use disorders or mothers who don't have a disorder or are not using criminal drugs but are reliant on opiates for pain control from various issues. That is our, our first uh, priority. And then from that, we can follow their children um, more closely, and we will assess and uh, be able to recognize the symptoms of withdrawal in their baby. There are other behaviors that um, newborns sometimes uh, do that can be misconstrued as um, uh, a withdrawal. Um, generally speaking, those are associated with other medications. Um, even nicotine is a great example. Uh, a mother who smokes a great deal or vapes a great deal can produce a baby who has significant irritability, low birth weight, just a very agitated child. And that is very easy to view through the lens of NAS. One of our primary concerns is how neonatal abstinence syndrome, and specifically how the substance exposure as a fetus, will be manifest throughout the lifespan. And we are very concerned with um, some deficits in their neurologic development. These children um, have been shown to have increased school age difficulties, um, also some behavioral issues. Generally speaking, neonatal abstinence syndrome is not fatal. Although children with a true fulminant withdrawal can have seizures, and those seizures can progress to causing significant um, neurologic injury, which in the long run could result in death. Thank you.